Hey everybody, it's Tom. If you weren't able to come to one of our hands-on FOSS trainings, you're probably wondering what's going to be in the box when you return to your classroom. So this short video will give you an idea of what you're in for. So the first question you might ask is, how much material will I receive? Now that varies by grade level, but here's an example. This is a complete set of materials for third grade. There are three boxes for earth science, three boxes for life science, and two boxes for physical science. For first grade, there are only six boxes for the combination of earth, physical, and life. Another thing you'll notice is that for grades K, 1, and 2, the student readers fit in one small box. These are here on top. But for grades 3, 4, and 5, the student readers are hardcover books, so there should be two boxes per each unit, that being earth, physical, or life science. Taking a look at the sticker on the outside of the boxes will tell you how many to expect for each module. This is the water and climate unit in the third grade earth science module. So you can see that there are three boxes, one, two, three, and then there would also be two corresponding boxes of books. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a box. Uh, either grab yourself a sharp pair of scissors or a box cutter. Here's a pro tip. Uh, turn the box over and instead of opening the tape on the, the top side of the box, open the top uh, tape on the bottom side, fold the cardboard over, and then turn the box. This will make it so the box comes out right side up. Now on the front you'll see which drawer is it's labeled to which drawer it is and what the materials are inside. We open up the drawer. In the first, uh, in the first drawer of each series, uh, that's typically where they go ahead and put whatever poster sets they include into the, uh, into the module, some packing materials to get rid of. And also, this is where you're going to find the, the teacher materials. You've got a uh, workbook of teacher resources, You've got the hard copy of the investigations guide. You've got a packing list for the drawer, uh, a copy of the student reader, and your safety poster. And in this case, that came apart. We'll put that back together, put it right back in the drawer. You'll find some drawers are packed with materials, other drawers not so much. For example, the majority of the items in this drawer are the FOSS scales, or the balances that the students will use. Now, one thing I've noticed is we have a lot of these around the district uh, to a point where we can probably just keep an entire set of scales in a classroom, even if you're sharing kits. And then, as we're using the drawers, this, whole, the, this is one drawer that you're not going to have to rotate between classes. Here's box number two in that set. In this drawer, find a lot more materials. Uh, for example, this package graduated cylinders. If you have familiarity with doing the FOSS kits before, it, it's pretty much the standard materials. Uh, almost everything that you need is going to be, is going to be in these kits. Uh, they include Sharpies, index cards, post-its. Now there is a list of teacher supplied materials and that's something that we're going to have to work on this year is determining uh, what they expect the teachers to supply, generating a list of that to see if the district can procure them because we don't want to put you in a situation of where you're, you're consistently expected to go ahead and, uh, and bring in things. For example, see here's your, here's your potting soil for, for this unit. So when you first get these kits, it's going to be something that you want to get into. Some of the things may need to go ahead and you might want to put them together prior to the lesson. For example, these graduate cylinders, they just have to be popped into their bases. And you might want to organize uh, the drawers. Uh, there are bins in here. A lot of things. That's going to be up to you. Do what works best for you. We'll ask you to share out best practices as we, as we go along. Big question that a lot of people have had. What do I do with the uh, FOSS materials that I had already, you know, previous versions of FOSS that we might have had in district? Uh, we want to go ahead and we want to you know, keep the durable materials. So if, if your previous FOSS sets had things 
like this that you might find useful, uh, please hold on to them. If they're, they're durable materials like this that you don't think you're going to use, we'll put those aside and then I'll figure out a way to collect them from you because there might be another place uh, at another school that can go ahead and use them. In the smaller boxes of student readers, we'll go ahead and find that for, for each module, for each set that you have for earth science, for physical science, for life science, you'll have a complete student's, student set of these books. Uh, there are approximately 32, and there's also one included in the teacher resources, so uh, 33 of these books. They have to travel with the kits, so don't take them out and just put them on your classroom shelf because if the kit's going to go to another classroom, the books will have to travel with them. But there is enough for a complete student set. Something that you're not going to find in your materials are these, these two envelopes. Uh, I've, pull, I've tried to pull these out. These were in with the packing slips. If you find these at your school, please get them to me. This is the living material cards that you send in for in your life science unit. You'll, you'll need some living materials, whether it be seeds, or worms or bugs, things, things like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these out so that your main office will maintain a folder with these and then you can go get them from there. This is the online access codes for the premium content. If you've been accessing FOSWeb using our district account, uh, that's fine, but now if you want to, these, these access codes will be available to you so that you can go ahead and set up uh, your own individual teacher page with your own unique code. We haven't had a problem with sharing codes, so it's really not that big of a deal, but we'll make those available. So this is an example of a living material card. This card in particular will get you 150 red worms, and that's part of the fifth grade life science unit. In order to redeem the card, you can either mail it in, you can fax the card, or probably your best bet is to call this customer service number. When you call the number, they're going to want a little bit of information. The first thing they're going to want to know is, when do you want it delivered? Now, they ask that you allow for at least three weeks delivery time, and please note that they plan on delivering on either Wednesday or Thursday of the week because you know, these are live materials and they don't want them sitting around in a warehouse or in a school classroom over a weekend. They'll be asking you for the information that you can find down here. This will make sure it's a valid card, and also they'll know where to go ahead and ship it to. You should go ahead and reaffirm the school shipping address, though, because for some of these cards, the school address may be listed as at the board office, so please ensure that it is going to be shipped to your correct elementary school. Something else that I'd encourage you to do is to plan with your colleagues that may be teaching the same unit at the same time. This card here is for 150 redworms. That may be enough for multiple classes. And if you go ahead and order multiple cards, you might end up with way more than you need. And because these are living materials, we want to care for them properly after they're, being, after, after they're used in our instruction. Uh, that, in some cases, may, be, may mean being returned to me so I can bring them to the high school and find a way to care for them. Or we might release them into one of our community gardens or something like that, seeing as, as these are worms. But uh, we'll have, we'll, it'll really depend on what the living material is. In some cases, there'll be seeds, and we can probably store them for another year. But please be cognizant of that.